Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and today we're going to be talking about the Growatt Men 7600 TL XH US. Now we're going to do a, a brief unboxing style video where we show you what was included with the unit, how it's wired in a grid tie fashion, a brief overview of the electrical wiring inside the unit and my initial impressions on the unit. All right, let's get to it. All right, everybody, so this is the 7600 TLXH US, like I stated earlier, and I'll give you a brief overview of some of the specs. I won't bore you with a lot of the details, um, but this particular unit has three uh, trackers in it, uh, MPPT trackers, and each one of those trackers allow you to input two separate strings. So that gives you a lot of flexibility on how you want to lay out your solar panels. For my purposes, I have two strings of 10 panels um, and each one is in a separate channel. Now I may in the future add a few more panels on my west facing roof to gather some uh, evening sunlight and kind of maximize my solar curve and to take up for the fact that over time these things are uh, not going to generate as much power. So I might take that 15% that they're going to lose and add 15, 20% so that I can cover my electrical needs. I haven't quite decided. I'm pretty early on uh, in using this system. So I, I haven't made that decision quite yet if it's worthwhile. Um, so far, I think I'm covering my electricity. We'll see in the next upcoming bill. But anyway, a brief overview of it. Um, it does have Wi-Fi built into it and uh, it has a app for monitoring for both PC and your smart device or smartphones or tablets and actually you need one of those devices to set to commission this unit um, out of the box it's set up for the grid tie um, at least my unit was so I didn't have to manipulate many of the settings internally um, as far as how it was set up so it was pretty much good to go I just had to add the Wi-Fi to it and get it connected on my uh, network and then add it to the app. We'll cover that in a future video on the application that comes with it. But a basic setup for me is I got this conduit coming in right here and that is the string uh, wiring coming in. It's a 10 gauge for my unit and it comes into this box and it comes in through this metal conduit into the inverter. Now this conduit has my communication wires, which is uh, RS-485 um, going to the smart meter that you have to purchase separately. And then also the emergency stop button. For me, I didn't necessarily need this emergency stop button here, but they include it in case you need to um, have that in case you put your inverter outside and then over here is my AC feeds and it also comes into this box so from this box over to my electrical panel I have a back fed breaker and that back fed breaker feeds my AC disconnect outside and then it comes back into this box from outside into my unit. So that's the basic flow of how it is wired up. Now here in a second we'll go ahead and pop this cover off and I'll show you the internal wiring of the unit. Um, one caveat is 
With the smart meter I mentioned, it is additional. It's about $200. And basically it monitors the current coming in and out of your main electrical feed. And then between that and how this monitors your solar production, tells you on your app how much you're exporting to the grid, importing from the grid, what your daily usage is, and all that good jazz. So if you want the full monitoring capability, you need the smart meter. And like I said, it's about 200 bucks, but we're not gonna get into that too much because I'm not gonna open the panel up for that um, right now. But I did capture what's included in the box when I first started putting this system together. The video is not the best, but we'll cut to that and we'll show you what's included. We have a emergency shutdown switch. Now this particular switch, I don't really need it. Um, I think the purpose of this is, is if you were going to mount this uh, inverter outside, you could put this uh, stop switch on the inside. Um, and then you would have emergency shutdown from the inside. And that's just a normally closed switch that terminates into the inverter with the two wires. And then you got your mounting bracket here. Uh, this will mount to the wall and then the inverter just sits on top of that. Uh, on the top and then on the bottom you have a couple terminals down here to um, mounting holes down here to mount to the wall, keep the bottom mounted. Uh, my plan is, is to try to at least get this top, the middle screw into the stud for uh, heavy duty, just for... My goal is to get the center screw into a stud so it has a sturdy connection point and then I'll probably just use anchors for the other two uh, at the top and then maybe I can hit one of the studs here at the bottom um, or I can drill a hole in the middle so I can hit the stud as well. Um, the other things that it came with is the mounting hardware. It has some frules in there for your wire connections. It has some a couple terminals and screws and um, mounting hardware, screws and wall anchors. And then over here we have our antenna and then we have some caps and uh, screws uh, basically for wiring. Um, the Okay, let's take a look at the internal wiring of the GrowWatt 7600 inverter. So in my scenario, I'm only using it as a grid tie inverter. I'm not using any of the battery capabilities that's built in. So to start off with, this module right here is the Tigo rapid shutdown um, transmitter. And that allows you to use Tigo rapid shutdown devices, which I use on mine. And over here, this first uh, plug, that is my emergency stop switch. Now it's just a normally open, normally closed contact um, that fires that. So it's pretty simple to install. And honestly, I don't really need this, um, but they include it in the box because a lot of times these inverters are mounted outside and you want to have an emergency stop switch next to your panel. But I put it up there just because it was included. And then this gray wire here um, goes into this terminal right here. That's the RS-485 for the um, smart meter. And that's the communications to the smart meter which resides inside my panel. And for my purposes, I end up having to steal the connector next to it because uh, I couldn't find the three pin that came with it. I think I might have accidentally threw it away. All right, and then we start on the higher voltage stuff. So these wires right here are the wires from my solar array. 
So your first four connectors are your PV uh, positive wires, and then the next four are your negative. So that would be your solar circuits. There's also another row up here that you could utilize. I'm not utilizing those because um, I only have two strings. But if you had more, you could utilize those. Um, over here you have your, your AC voltage. So my leg line one, my neutral, my line two. And these just all use um, for rules, and I'll link some down in the description of what I use to uh, put the little caps on the end. And then down here on the copper block, you have your main ground. So this goes back to my panel, uh, or interconnects with the grounds that go to my panel. And then I have this one leg that goes up and grounds the chassis uh, of the inverter. So you can come around here to the side and you can see it has a lug on the end of it that's connected to the chassis on the back. So that's pretty much it on the internal wiring. Um, you also have your Wi-Fi antenna right here. Um, you'll have to follow the line to see which one's plugged in because they have a second antenna port right here for whatever reason, I don't know. Maybe if you had a cellular module on yours. But that's pretty, mi pretty much it on the wiring. Once you get uh, this thing turned on, you'll open up the app and find your serial number and start configuring it from that device. And like I said, mine was set up for me perfectly. All I had to do was add the Wi-Fi and get it connected to my network. So pretty simple for the app. Now my initial impressions on this are really good. The price point was really good. At the time of purchase, I got it for around $1,300, about $200 more for the smart meter. So at about $1,500, I got a 7,600 uh, kilowatt inverter which is a pretty good price in my opinion compared to the competition out there for what you get the app's pretty good um, at least on the website the pc side the phone app just gives you some basic details it's not the best but it works pretty well for just pulling up and seeing how things are going but if you want some more detail on how much string one compared to string two is outputting, what your um, daily use is, how much you're in exporting to the grid. You'll need to go to the web app on your PC or a tablet um, and you can find those details a little easier. So overall, I'm really happy with the unit. I haven't had it very long. Um, here in another few weeks, I'll be putting up um, a video about whether it's worthwhile to go solar and show you the cost benefit of how it's impacted my electricity bill and things of that nature. So be on the lookout for that. And now if you wanted to pick up one of these units, the place that I purchased it from is Renvu. Dot com. Um, I'll put a link down in the description and also a discount code for you. You'll save a couple percent and then I'll get a small commission if you purchase anything through there. I'll also put some Amazon links on some tools and equipment I use for the installation of this. Um, and if you decide to purchase those things, it really helps out the channel. Um, provides me with a little income to buy cameras, equipment, and spend the time that it takes to edit these videos. So it's all appreciated. And all you subscribers out there, I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you next time on What's Next DIY.